as I know we have Apophis coming, okay, allegedly. Uh, there are also a couple more asteroids that are actually um, kind of, you know, potentially circling us in, in odd ways, and they may uh, potentially impact within a couple of years. We have 2027 uh, reports or 2032 reports. Um, a lot of this is saying that it's going to happen somewhere um, within, like, the... Um, the, basically, the, the green line in Africa, potentially, and then across around, around the world, maybe the, somewhere around the equator, let's say, guys. Um, but let's go ahead and see this video here. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson on mansion-sized asteroid uh, hitting Earth. This is a suggestion via channel member. Let's check it out. Let's jump into it, guys. Sometimes I kid too much. We're not all going to die. That's not what I was. Well, yes, we are. But you know what I mean. Well, yeah. Not yeah. from this meteor that may no. be coming. No, okay. no, no. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. I love him, and I love calling him a friend of mine and a mentor. I'm very lucky to have him. So he starts warning. Guys, I want to go ahead and point out something really quickly because I can smell the comments already because it's the same group of people for some reason. Listen, Neil deGrasse, Neil deGrasse Tyson gave a very PC answer to a complex question, and now all of his intelligence is being negated by, by a, a lot of people. I don't understand that, guys. Um, but uh, just know, understand, just understand. I know the comments are coming, and this is going to be my explanation. I understand what you're saying, but that doesn't take away his, you know, intelligence in the field. But listen to me, a friend of mine and a mentor. I'm very lucky to have him. So he starts warning that there is a mansion-sized asteroid. Okay, it's like 180 feet in diameter. Okay, 55 meters. Okay. Headed towards Earth, could be here by 2032. What are the okay, chances? So this is the one that we're okay. Uh, somewhere between a one percent chance and a three percent chance over the last week. Okay, so I wanted him to bring him in here because I got to believe if this was really, was, really bad, he and I would be making wrong. plans to do a lot between now and then, and I haven't heard from him. So I'm hoping that there's hope. Neil deGrasse Tyson joins us now. It is always great to see you, brother. Thank you for being with me. What do we need yeah. to know here before I cancel my life insurance and forget about that hair restoration treatment I was going to do with you in Turkey? Bro, don't, what? Just go bald. You don't need hair. <laughs> so a couple of things. The, uh, <laughs> this, this asteroid, uh, 2024YR4, uh, yeah. I, I think I got its phone number right there. That one. Uh, it is notable because it had the highest risk ever reported for an object of any significant size. And a few days ago, that risk was a 3%. It reached as high as a 3% chance of hitting Earth. And this has to do with how accurate do we know the orbital parameters. It only just was discovered a couple of months ago, the end of 2024. So we have a very small... Uh, a segment of its orbit in which to extrapolate eight years forward. That comes with a lot of uncertainty. Absolutely. So every day that like accumulates, we'll know more. we get to tighten that, uh, get to reduce the understanding. It'll either eventually go to a hundred percent chance of mm -hmm. hitting or zero. All right. That's right. how that works. Turns out last night that the, the latest estimate was downgraded Okay. From what was above three percent now to one third of one percent. So okay, yeah, guys, because when I the last time I saw this, um, I read something about it. It was definitely upgraded, and I was just like, "What do you mean you're upgrading an asteroid hitting Earth? What do you mean by that?" Uh, let's not upgrade a single. Well, obviously, if it's true, we should all know, right? Um, so then, obviously, it should be upgraded. But when I saw it, I was very upset that it upgraded because I was just like, "Bro, a lot of people are about to, you know." Uh, have a have a hard time in a couple of years from what was above three percent now to one third of one percent so don't worry about it but what i will say is why don't we use this as an excuse to maybe prep something for the future i don't okay. want to be the laughing stock of the galaxy being the only species that had a space program that went extinct from an asteroid when we could have deflected the asteroid. Because you know mm. that if the dinosaurs had a space program, they'd still be here today. Right. <laughs> yes, I've often said that. Do you think that... <laughs> what are you talking about? No one has said that. No one... Maybe he said that. Right, and and Cuomo definitely never said anything like this in his life here, guys. All right, I do agree with Neil though in this context. We do need something that that can have the ability to just basically throw asteroids off their you know their their, their path. 
um, so they can kind of get out of here, go somewhere else, bro. Let somebody else deal with it. Um, that would be great. It would be very intelligent. Um, but listen to me. Yeah, our ability to knock this thing out or deflect it is like an Elon away, or what do you think? <laughs> Is that a new measure? <laughs> you, can, you can use that, by the way. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> well, NASA has already experimented with the deflection of an asteroid orbit in a yeah. mission not too long ago called DART, mm -hmm. the Double Asteroid Redirect Test. It was an they orbiting landed. pair of asteroids. They went to one to try yeah. to deflect it to see if they can influence its orbital period. A nice contained science experiment. Right. And in fact, they succeeded. Right. And so we need more of those experiments so that... This won't happen, mm -hmm. ever. And by the way, if you get an asteroid early enough in its multiple orbits, it doesn't take much of a shift to completely Miss uh, push it out of harm's way. Right. That's what we need in the future. This is nature's shot across our bow. Mm. It's a, you have an amazing ability to kneel, uh, Neil, to make me interested in hearing something that I absolutely don't want to hear. By the way, I want you to know that that is a rare gift and not just science, but science that could kill me. <laughs> it's always good for you to get me interested in it. Thank you very much for explaining. I look right. forward to you. OK, guys. OK, this is, he's about to like, like, yeah, I don't know, blaze him now. All right. Here's the thing. guys. <laughs> here's the thing. Um, yeah, we definitely do need something like this. Neil is not not wrong here. Um, we need something that they can can stop a lot of the things that are coming in from out of our atmosphere. Um, that would actually be a smart thing. Um, another thing also may be intelligent would be uh, that would be intelligent would be to uh, also clean up some of the space trash that we have floating around our um, our, our sky, guys. All right. Um, that would be a smart idea too. It would be great. Uh, but anyway, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I do think that uh, if it does hit, it, it will absolutely be terrible be based off the size of it alone. Um, it'll probably start breaking up in the exosphere, thermosphere, most likely. Uh, and then it will basically create a shower. Um, is kind of what I would, would speculate without um, like seeing... Like, what, is, what is this asteroid meteor made out of? Of course, we don't know yet. Um, but... Yeah, I have a couple of questions here. <laughs> but either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. The fact that you just made it to the end of the video says a whole lot, actually. Uh, we have a couple other channels. Uh, Mr. Al Boyd Music, Mr. Al Boyd Movie Reacts, along with Mr. Al Boyd Discusses, where I just generally speak about the things that specifically matter to me. But in the meantime, I'll catch you guys later.